Friends and family are still waiting for answers in the search for two missing Wisconsin brothers. Investigators are focusing on areas in both Clinton and Caldwell counties. Our Abigail James is live in Bramer where the focus of that investigation is taking place this morning. Abigail. Yeah, well, it's right up this gravel road here on this property out here in Bramer, where police and investigators have been putting the majority of their focus. There's actually some police cars up there this morning. It's unclear whether or not they're investigating right now or if they're just keeping watch of the property be, um, until they resume their search. Now, you might be able to see some of their lights on right up at the top of that hill there. But police have not been able to tell us specifically why they're searching this property. But just yesterday, we had Chopper 5 fly over this area and it showed investigators sifting through piles of what looked like dirt. Authorities are checking buildings, ponds, and waste piles. Meanwhile, in Wisconsin, the surrounding uh, community came together Thursday night to help support the family of the two missing men, 35-year-old Nick DeMille and his brother, 24-year-old Justin DeMille. Nick's wife, Lisa, says their family is still hopeful. Our oldest two, I think they understand the seriousness. Um, the younger two just miss their dad. They cry for him. They ask where he is. Now, like I said, police aren't ex uh, saying exactly why they're putting so much focus on this property here in Bramer, but we do know it's a property of a man who was found guilty on cattle fraud back in 2015. Now, the DeMille brothers were not uh, victims of that case, uh, and family and friends cannot tell us whether or not that they had contracts with this specific property. For now, reporting live, Abigail James, KCTV5 News. Abigail, thank you. And we are staying on top of developments on these missing men throughout the day. To have updates sent straight to your phone, just download the KCTV 5 News app.